There is one element in moving images that you often forget. Well, to be fair, it's usually intentional to make you overlook its existence. Nevertheless, without it, none of the moving images will exist. This element is time. What the f is time-based media? A representative definition of time-based media offers the following three criteria. They are dependent on technology, they have a durational dimension, and what it means to experience such a medium is to watch it unfold over time according to the temporal logic of the medium as it is played back. In general, time-based media refer to film, video, slide, audio, and computer technologies. The term appeared from the 1970s onwards as the usages and technologies of audio and visuals have diversified. However, rather than saying it's technology-driven, time-based media is more a category of media that depend, capture, and display the intangible time. In other words, with the development of technology, certain media are able, or in fact by nature, to include the dimension of time, which is often materialized as the duration, and repeat the experience in playback over a certain period of time. No matter it is John Cage's 433 that revolutionarily deploys time as a musical element over 4 minutes and 33 seconds, or this video that is trying to explain time-based media to you over 4 minutes. Whilst most of the time-based contents try to make you forget the flow of time to avoid boredom, some actually target to make time a tangible experience for the audiences. In fact, in terms of creation, time is more than the runtime shown at the corner of the video or in the artwork description. Time itself is a unique element to explore in time-based media. The narration is a sequence with double temporalities. There is the time of the thing told in the time of the narration, time of signified and time of signifier. This duality does not only make all the temporal distortions, which are everywhere in the plots, possible, but more fundamentally. It invites us to state that one of the functions in the narration is to insert a time in another time. Metz proposed that narration in cinema, that we can extend to video art and other time-based media's context can provide two layers of time, the actual duration of the content and the time period represented during the actual duration. For example, a five-minute video describing a historical change of a country over 30 years, or an eight-hour video showing eight actual hours at Empire State Building by Andy Warhol. By juggling these two layers of time, such as making narrative time faster, slower, pause, or exactly the same as the work duration, not only can the creator represent intangible time, but also change all our experience of time, while in challenge the expectations of the spectators. So, what is, is time-based media? The simple version is media that have duration. The elaborated version is technology-enabled media that include the time dimension in its formation. They capture and display time as a temporal experience, noticeable or unnoticeable to the spectators. Time is thus transformed into a tangible and repeatable experience through perceiving such media.